we know from the literature that the rate of inadvertent arterial cannulation is going to be actually very close to 1%. That is an unacceptable rate of complication. Well, anybody who kind of downplays um, the arterial cannulation complication um, is probably not a physician who is for, fit for placing central venal signs. Measuring pressure reduces the incidence of inadvertent arterial cannulation from close to 1% to close to zero, which is a huge improvement in outcome. I was the first one to use the device and actually filmed the, the whole procedure. Zero nine. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I think the compass does add another layer of safety in centrovenal slime placement. It should be absolute standard nowadays to have some sort of pressure monitoring to, to place subclavian uh, vein catheters. We know now that taking an eight and a half uh, French introducer sheath out of the carotid and, and simply putting pressure on it is associated with serious morbidity and mortality that probably approaches at least 50 percent. So that means that now, if you inadvertently place a catheter into an artery, you're either going to have to do an operation to remove it and to repair the damage, or you're going to have to um, do an endovascular procedure. I would regard pressure measurement during central line placement as being a, a proven strategy for reducing a, a very serious potential complication. The beauty of this compass device is um, it measures the blood pressure as you're sliding the guide wire into the vessel. So that gives us a much higher level of confidence that we have in fact place the guide wire into the vein and not the artery. It has worked quite nicely. That's very nice. We now do ultrasound routinely on virtually every central line placement. However, it's not always possible to uh, reliably image the tip of, of the needle with ultrasound and, and, and that clearly is one of its limitations. Ultrasound doesn't tell you that you're in, in the right uh, vessel, especially as you place the guide wire. When the performer is, is fairly new, what happens is the needle tip will inadvertently uh, migrate into the artery. We essentially use ultrasound to identify the anatomy, to know where to point the needle, but we don't rely on ultrasound alone to tell us that we're ultimately in the artery or in the vein. In the setting of ultrasound not being feasible or not being available or not being useful, um, I think pressure monitoring becomes your number one safety measure. So if we assume that there are five million central venous catheters placed in this country every year, we're then talking about 50,000 patients with a potentially very serious and potentially avoidable complication. So we're talking about not hundreds, but thousands of dollars in patient care, um, fixing the complication and whatnot. We have really good evidence now that measuring pressure reduces the incidence of inadvertent arterial cannulation from close to 1% to close to zero, which is a huge improvement in outcome. So I would regard pressure measurement during central line placement, which is what the compass does, as being a proven strategy for reducing a very serious potential complication. Very nice. Great device.